Hey, fifth graders. I hope you all have had a great weekend and a good first week of uh, virtual learning. I just want to check in quick and give you some reminders here going into our second week of virtual learning and as we start fourth quarter, um, your last quarter of fifth grade, if you can believe that already. Um, so I just want to give you a few reminders. Um, hopefully you've all watched the long video that Mr. Gornick put together, um, reminding you of a lot of the questions we got um, this first week and some other tips going into um, this second week here. Um, so first reminder for you for me, make sure you're watching the videos that are put together. Um, first, obviously, that um, the main one for the week from Mr. Gornick, but also ones as you're working on your lesson book material. Everything from me that you need is under the Classwork tab, under the weekly lessons, videos, materials, and assignments. And then there is a post called Newbar Lesson Slash Band Karate Videos. I have linked all of the YouTube playlists there. So there's one for every belt for band karate and now I'm working on the band Jedi as well. Um, so within each of those there will be explanation videos for each belt and then a, a individual video for each instrument and each song. So as you are working through and choosing what songs you want to work on make sure you're using those as a practice resource. Um, working through each of those belts make sure you watch the introduction videos because those are going to teach you how to play um, the new skills. That are taught with each of those belts as we're working through those and moving towards the end of the year. Um, for your um, assignment as far as what song you're sending in this week, you're going to be sending in either the first part of A Good Life or Donkey Riding. Now some of you are done with um, Good Life and you've passed it and you're done with Black Belt, so you absolutely should be sending in Donkey Riding. Um, so there's a couple of you that are already done with Donkey Riding too, so you want to be starting to work ahead into your next um, Jedi Belt. Um, and then you can obviously double dip with your once a week recording and um, passing band karate. So if you're really feeling good with your um, whole good life solo and you want to send the whole thing, go for it. You don't have to send just those first 13 measures. You can send the whole thing if you feel like you've got the whole thing ready to submit um, and knock out your whole black belt. Um, the goal obviously is to get you guys as far through band karate and Jedi as we can by the end of the year. Um, obviously these are different circumstances than we would have been if we were in school, but keep practicing, keep playing, keep working, and we'll see how far we can get um, by the end of the year as we work through Jedi and maybe even into some ninja levels for you guys. Um, but make sure you're absolutely not sending anything behind of where you are. Um, so if you're past brown belt and black belt, you shouldn't be sending anything previous to that anymore um, for your once a week recordings. Um, a couple other quick reminders. Um, don't forget I'm on Hangouts every day from 9.30 to 11 and 1 to 2.30. If you've got questions, that's the easiest and quickest way to get an answer from me. Um, emails can take a little while to get back to or if you pop a question there in the classroom. Um, but I am on Hangouts every day from 9.30 to 11 or 1 to 2.30. And even if I'm not on, you can still send me a question that I can get back to once I hop back on later in the day. It'd be great to hear from you guys too. Um, and then... Um, smart Music. Um, if you haven't gotten into Smart Music and joined Smart Music, um, it's a great resource. Um, it'll be a lot of fun to practice with. It'll make practicing a whole, um, even more fun. Um, so I encourage you to make sure you get into Smart Music and join it. It's completely free right now. It normally costs money, um, but the company has made it free for the whole country um, due to the pandemic right now. So it's an awesome resource. I highly recommend getting joined up into Smart Music and then using it when you're practicing as well. And then I'll post a video later this week with some extra resources to help you understand and kind of show you how smart music really works. And the last thing, um, each week in these videos, I'm going to post a question to you. Um, and then you can just put a comment below um, in the comments right below this video um, on Google Classroom. And my question to you this week is, where would you go if you could visit anywhere in the world right now, notwithstanding the fact that we can't obviously leave our houses. Um, but if you could and you could go visit anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? So that's my question to you, and I look forward to seeing your responses, and have a great second week of virtual learning.